Prime Minister of Canada to deliver remarks. Mesdames et Messieurs, je voudrais maintenant inviter le très honorable Stephen Harper, Premier ministre du Canada, à prendre la parole. Votre Excellence, honored veterans, distinguished guests, Mesdames et Messieurs, aujourd'hui, nous saluons et aussi nous rendons hommage à la génération de ceux dont le courage dans la guerre et l'altruisme dans la paix ont pour la première fois défini notre jeune pays aux yeux du monde. Today we say goodbye, but we also pay homage to the generation whose fearlessness in war and selflessness in peace first defined our young nation in the eyes of the world. These Canadians did not fight in the First World War to expand our dominion. It was not over old hostilities that they battled. No, these young people risked their lives so that other nations could live in the same peace and freedom that had taken such deep root in Canada. The Farouche Guerrier of Carleton des patriotes inconditionnels avec un sens des responsabilités internationales, ces hommes et ces femmes incarnent la grandeur que les générations suivantes de Canadiens tentent d'imiter. Avec le décès de John Barron, plus tôt cette année, le Canada a malheureusement perdu son dernier lien vivant avec eux. Fierce warriors with tender hearts, Rock River Patriots with a sense of international responsibility. These men and women embody the greatness that later generations of Canadians have striven to emulate. With the passing of John Babcock only a few weeks ago, we have sadly lost our last living link to this generation of admirable Canadians. But while those who fought in that epic struggle may have passed entirely from the face of the earth, their legacy lives on all around us. Ces hommes et ces femmes ont hérité du pays né du rêve de faire de la Confédération. Et ils ont aidé à en faire le Canada que nous connaissons et aimons aujourd'hui. Le pays le plus paisible, le plus prospère, and the most generous that the world has ever known. These men and women inherited the country born of the dream of the Fathers of Confederation, and they helped to transform it into the Canada that we know and love today, the most peaceful, prosperous, and generous nation the world has ever known. To us, ladies and gentlemen, this generation made only one demand. It is a generation every Canadian school child knows by heart, symbolized by our ceremony today. To you from failing hands, we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. We should ask ourselves, how do we measure up? Someday when all the great struggles of our generation are long concluded, that day when our lives too have taken their place in the chronicles of Canada's past, and are weighed in the scales of history. On that day, how will we fare? What will be our legacy? Will it inspire those who come after us? Will ours, too, be a torch that they will hold high? Les Canadiens, les Canadiens ne devraient pas être esclaves passés. Mais alors que la dernière trompette sonne pour ces admirables Canadiens, Nous ne pouvons ignorer le prix qu'ils ont payé ni le cadeau qu'ils nous ont fait. La liberté est ce cadeau, mesdames et messieurs. La liberté est la responsabilité de l'utiliser à des fins nobles. Canadians should not be captive to the past. But as the final trumpet sounds for the admirable Canadians, Neither can we be ignorant about the price they paid or the gift they left us.
Freedom was that gift, ladies and gentlemen. Freedom and the responsibility to use it for great purposes. As Canadians, let us always be tireless as they were for that which is right and